Hello everyone and welcome back to another beekeeping video. Last time it was really exciting, there had been two swarms which meant we had five hives in here, we'd caught two so we'd upped our apiary to five hives. However, we're now back down to three and that's because of some nasty little wasps. Oh, one over there. You can see it's sneaking its way in. Go on, someone go get it. You can see I'm trying to get in down here quite aggressively. <gasps> oh, fight! Fight! Yeah. yeah! Come on. No! Get it out again. Get it out again. No, it got it in. Yeah! They attacked it out. Did you see that? <laughs> so what is it these wasps are actually doing to the hives? Well, in the same way as honeybees, when a wasp finds a good food source, and these hives are amazing because not only are they full of nectar, pollen, they are also full of honeybees and vulnerable grubs. And wasps don't only forage for pollen, they also forage for insects. It will find a great food source like this, it will communicate it with the rest of the nest and then they will all come en masse. And they cleared out two hives and there could have been maybe 30,000 um, honeybees in each of these hives. And the way they do it is actually horrific. <laughs> they will attack the honeybee. When it's alive, they will rip off its head, its wings, its legs, and they will carry as much as possible in their mouths, carry it back to their nest where they will then feed it to their larvae and the larvae actually they will chew up the insect exoskeleton to make a sugary syrup which they then feed back to the adults but um it's really quite horrific what i've done here is during the hot, hot summer months you need to open up the openings so the bees can come in and out but what i've done now is i've reduced the size of the in and out for the bees by popping this here and that gives a chance for the guard bees to protect the wasps from coming in and unfortunately with the other two hives because they were still young hives there weren't enough guard bees to protect themselves they weren't able to keep all the wasps out and when the wasps come they really do go in for the attack there it is can you see the wasp trying to get in okay here we go see, see it's trying to get in wait for a minute we'll... it's trying its best there Let's you go see. you can see right. it trying to get in now and it'll go No, it's got in. No, but ah. they'll fight it off because there's enough of them. They'll fight that. They'll fight that wasp off. Oh, there we are. Look, what's it? <gasps> it's gone yeah, in. Yes, snuck it in. It's gone in. But let's have a look. There Wait. you go. Oh, busted. But it didn't stay in. That's the main thing. Is that they are they are actually strong enough to actually stop them from going in, which is great. But we're going to open it up at the top and see how it looks like. Uh, how it looks inside. Okay. Come on, bees, be okay. Yeah, they're fine. They're fine. See. Little waspy. Get out. Wait, can you see Yeah, he's flying around here. Wow. Yeah, these are very docile, these bees. Yeah, there's hardly any noise coming from this hive, Mum. But the good thing is, I'm looking in here and there's no wasps inside the hive. Well, apart from this one that's trying to get in. Yeah, but that's only because we've got the lid off, so that's really, that's good. Don't need him in, don't need him in. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Got him, you got him out, you got him out. It's important to say that we love all creatures here, don't we, Mum? We do. We don't like to kill anything. We don't like to. That, and that's, that's really important to say that because wasps, early in the summer, they're also pollinators. They do wonders because they help with keeping aphids at bay in gardens. But for the sake of our bees, they've terrorised them. And we've lost two whole hives. And the whole point of having these hives here is so that we can help the pollinators of our country. <laughs> <laughs> so the bees need all the help they can get. They do. The bees need all the help they can get. So yeah, sadly, we are resulting to traps and deterrents to keep the wasps away from the bees. Right, what are you doing? Well, I, I had some plum jam that I made, which wasn't very successful. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought it could be um, put out here to uh, attract the wasps and keep them away from the hive. So I've got two wasp traps here, and then any wasp will come along and start eating the jam and stick in there and uh, they won't go for the honey. Mm. Hopefully. Hopefully. Oh I can see one. Look at these this oh they're just coming in and out mum. 
So you can see again, we've just closed off the area so the bees can get out and they can defend themselves against the wasps easier. Yeah, all right, all right, I'm a friend. I'm not gonna take your honey. Now this is my angry hive. Yeah, they hate me. And I don't see any wasps in there, so that's good. So actually, the fact this is an angry, aggressive hive actually is a benefit to the wasp. So as you can see, the poor bees are really up against it at the moment. We're doing all we can. All we can do is just make it more tricky for the wasps to get in. We can put deterrents around and about. But apart from that, we sort of just have to leave nature to it. Wish these bees some good luck. Good luck, bees. Make sure you subscribe and watch all of the beekeeping videos in this playlist if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you soon. Bye. Oh, wow. -wee. Yeah. Got a grass, right?